for the Edu Let Us Welcome, Mr. Devon Terran Lechimanen. consuming whatever what, what, what you have just uh, told us a few minutes ago yeah how can we be proactive as a consumer so as not to uh, danger ourselves so, you know, that's a good question and also oh is there an instrument to you not know, test yes. the fish that you you know that you buy at, at the supermarket so uh, in frankly speaking it's 
very difficult to identify the small tiny things, heavy metals. So, but but the researchers, what what I do in my research work is, I'm using algae as my friend previously mentioned. She's an environmentalist. So I'm doing algae to feed the waste waters, so polluted with the heavy metals. So this algae has the capability to absorb the heavy metals in their bodies, and it can keep clean the water. So how about uh, giving awareness to the public? So one of the way is uh, actually there are, there are medical tests done by the medical like assistants. Like they they use a hand hand to 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 identify the quantity of the, some type of heavy metals. And because these heavy metals going to accumulate, I say by accumulating in some sort of organs and also some part of the body. So one of the thing, uh, thing is doing a medical test. What's your lamb name, Devon? Okay. You know, uh, you and the two previous presenters make me going to have to back a gravel mine and uh, yeah. it is possible for me to come back again next year. Because I would really love to see you guys again next year. But this time, marry your great content with creative presentation. For example, you know that the history of our country is closely tied to the ocean and to marine life and pathways. And, but that's outside your area, right? That's in Sejarah Melayu. All the history books that you read will involve the ocean. So if you can tie that together, the purity of our ecosystem before and the purity of our civilization is now contaminated. And our sustainability for the future is not in danger. If you had put that at the beginning, you would have hooked. The angle you chose, I think, is very important. I look at these angles too. And to me, for you to fly all the way from UMT, you know, from focus that we have here, just to come here and make this point, at what, 23 years old? Many 23 years old studying science don't even bother to speak to the public. But you step up, and your, your colleagues here have stepped up. But you have to step up even more. If you were to make science more accessible, then you need to do a bit more. And I will plead with you to do this again next year, but come with it by bringing this other side to the equation. Science is there, but science is not everything in our community. Thank you for honoring us with this uh, particular presentation, it reminded me of what's important scientifically it could be complicated to the public but please go back and find this other skill sometimes you don't have to debate sometimes you just have to be a nice storyteller thank you uh, just add one very quick comment um, what all the judges have made very pertinent points I just want to expand slightly try to relate it to something relevant now an issue like say the Linus processing plant, you know, something that the people will affect the people. It is, we I, actually, it is correct. Sea pollution is a big problem, but with most of us, you know, only going to the ocean when we need 
application, a lot of people don't see that aspect of it. Right? So you did a good job. You did a good job. Content is there. Um, try and compress it a bit more. And of course, let's say, try and relate it to something ongoing now. Right? Thanks. Thank you, Devon.